So information is easier to access than ever before. You find it everywhere to go, in your email, on the web, on TV. But how do you know what information is good and what isn't? Crap detection is one way of thinking about it. How often has this happened to you? Going about your daily life and you come across something that makes you say, I wonder. So you pull out your mobile phone or go to your computer to access the cloud and start looking for information. Where you end up is the information universe. A nearly infinite sprawling web of misinformation, uh, garden paths, and snake pits. It's also filled with information you are looking for, if only you could find it. While searching, it is easy to make a wrong turn or be lured down a rabbit hole. There's a combination of misinformation, superfluous distractions, and the information you actually need. More often than not, it is hard to see the forest for the trees. With all the diverse information sources, before you know it, you can become lost lost on a sea of information. It can be difficult to get your bearing and navigate to your destination. How do you find your way? What sort of landmarks or orienteering skills can you use in this landscape to help you find your direction? Beyond you as an adult, what about youth? How do they discover their path? The fear of youth becoming lost and being unable to find their way is palpable. Clive Thompson, in a recent Wired article, stressed the fact that students lack the ability to search, citing their performance in school-based tasks. What if the problem here is not their ability? What if the problem here is disengagement with school? My research has shown that youth in their leisure spaces are more than capable of finding, evaluating, and using information. What's needed here is something to help them find their way. A detector is needed to help them uh, discern what is useful, what isn't, and what information is just bad. Luckily, it doesn't require this type of equipment. It requires a crap detector, a la Howard Rheingold or Ernest Hemingway. Information literacy is an implementation of crap detection. At its most basic, it is the ability to find, evaluate, and use information to help solve an information need. Traditional information literacy models uh, come from library science and look like this. Uh, they're used in traditional information spaces such as libraries and schools. However, information on the internet doesn't look like books and stacks at all. Instead, it's not organized like information from traditional institutional sources like a database or a library, but is an organic sprawling and growing at an exponential rate. However, Interest-driven spaces become microcosms within the internet. Activities like video games create a web of information sources that are created, managed, and used by their community. From my research, I've created a more nuanced model. Uh, this model emphasizes the complexities of searching in different information situations. This is a non-linear model. The traditional model is prescriptive, and this is descriptive. I've also gathered information horizon maps. Um, a participant uh, has created this visualization of his connections with information in his game and education spaces. Uh, he understands the nuances and the complicated space that he's operating in. Um, he also realizes that this is a personal map. So youth can crap detect in their leisure spaces because they're interested in the space and the topic. They have, space to, uh, they have agency to explore their spaces and feel that the outcomes of their efforts are measurable. Leisure spaces are interest-driven, whereas most educational spaces are not. Despite the fact that they use sophisticated skills in their information environments around their leisure spaces, uh, they are less likely to use those skills in the classroom where they have less authority and agency, and therefore uh, oftentimes less interest in engagement. So what's the solution? We could try to keep imposing this model of traditional information literacy, or we could try an approach to help youth make the connections between the skills they use and their leisure spaces and what they need to use in their academic spaces. For more students than not, this is a matter of fine-tuning skills they already have. Information literacy and crap detection are individualized practices. We need to build on those practices instead of imposing a, perspective, a prescriptive linear model on them. To sum up, the traditional information literacy model is not optimal for the digital age. The new model is more nuanced to account for digital information spaces. And finally, youth can crap detect in their leisure spaces. So the challenge is help making, them, making that connection with school.